All right, so here in Maya um, LT2017, we have a cool uh, little tool that allows us to paint our on our uh, 3D models in real time. So for example, if I grab my primitive tool and just grab, let's make like a box. And let's go ahead and under modeling, let's smooth it. I'm gonna add two divisions and just let's Take a look at this painting tool in Maya. All right, so if you want to access the painting tool um, in Maya LT 2017, for example, you go to shading, then you go to um, lighting and shading, and then under 3D paint tool, I'm gonna click on options, and here it is. So here's our tool. All right, and so let's. The first thing you need to know is before you paint anything on your 3D model, the object has to have UVs on it. So because I uh, just grabbed a uh, box, as you could see, Maya has the UVs uh, beautifully laid out for us. Okay, but if it's something more complex, uh, shape-wise, you need to make sure that you um, unwrap your UVs first. All right, so the first thing we could take a look is uh, let's uh, flood this ball like an orange color. So I'm going to just grab something like a red orange and just flood the paint. Now, as you could see, um, before I could use any of these tools, I have to first set the uh, texture, right? So you want to assign the textures, assign an edit texture. So you must click on this button first and define what you want your texture resolution to be. So in my case, um, I have it set to 1024 by 1024 and the image format, I'm gonna leave it at PNG on my end, all right? Just say assign. Now let's go ahead and press, press flood. You can see the ball turn orange. And let's see if we uh, can maybe draw some kind of a face on it. So I'm gonna grab my black color Pressing B, I can control uh, the size of my brush. So press B and you can see it scales up and down. All right, the opacity of the color is here. So I'm gonna set to mine to 100%, just kind of draw like a circle here, maybe one here. All right, something very simple just to demonstrate the painting tool. And um, now let's set it to maybe white holding down the B, just make it a little smaller. Let's paint kind of an eye here and here. Oops. I'm doing this with my mouse, so my painting is not as, as nice as it could be. Um, now let's do the uh, eyeball. So maybe just a little eyeball here and here. Something really simple. And now, of course, he's smiling, he's happy. I'm gonna turn my brush down, just do like a little smiley face. All right, something really simple. Now, once you're done painting, you can save your texture. And before you save your texture, you must save your scene. But one other thing I wanted to show you is let's say you wanna paint something specific. For example, what if I wanna paint um, this area here, but I really don't want to paint anything else. So I just want to do it like a poly paint of this, these two blocks right here. Well, to do that, all you need to do is select the faces and isolate them. Right now, if I go back to my paint tool and let's paint it, um, nice, nice bright colors. How about this bright blue? Turn down my br turn my brush size up, and just quickly paint all edge to edge. All right, something like that. Now watch this. If you un un unhide it, you could see that the poly paint painted just those two blue ones, and it respected the poly lines, which will allow you to paint nice clean lines. Uh, if it's some simple uh, painting, of course you can even add the little gradients or highlights. Uh, this way as well. Alright, so I just wanted to show you uh, this tool and I hope you enjoy it and happy painting.